Hello everyone, I'm Inverse, and as I mentioned in my most recent video on hotkeys and micro, today I'm going to show you guys very quickly how you can modify and alter hotkeys for yourselves. It's a very straightforward process and it shouldn't take me more than a few minutes to, uh, to explain it. Now before we start, you guys are going to need to download a bit of software. These are all, all these are going to be linked in the video description right below. So check out down there to find out where to find all this stuff. First of all, the SGA extractor, courtesy of Copernicus over on the Relic News forums. We'll be using that to extract the hotkey file so that we can modify it ourselves. We're also going to need Core 6 Mod Studio, which is a suite of mod tools for Relic's RTSs, Dawn of War, and Company of Heroes. We're going to be using this tool in order to repack the SGA file so that we can put it back in the game and then start using our hotkeys. Um, so let's get started. The place where we will find the hotkey files, if you go to your Company of Heroes, uh, your Company of Heroes folder, go down to the World War II folder, open Archives, and the default uh, hotkey file is in World War II Data .sga. If you open up your SGA extractor, you select the archive. You go down to World War II Data .sga. You select an output directory, say desktop. You hit Extract and the tool will go through and extract the file. Now, World War II data is a fairly big file and takes a while to extract. I did a extraction before recording and this is what you're this is what you're going to see. You select desktop as your output folder. You're going to see a data file. You're going to open that up. You're going to go to game and then you're going to find keydefaults.lua. Let's pull this out, copy it and paste it on the desktop now. Now alternatively, what you could do is also down in the link in the, or down in the description rather, is a link to my personal hotkey setup, uh, which is a far smaller SGA file. It's actually only this key defaults.lua file. And we're gonna go and extract that right now. So if you go to wherever you downloaded that file, I personally have it in my archives file already. The SGA name is, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, 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 no. I was doing some testing beforehand and I messed up all my names. There we go. It's World War II data underscore uh, key defaults dot SGA. So we're going to extract that to the desktop very nice and quickly. Extract it, bring it out here. And if we open it up, we're going to find data, game, key defaults dot Lua. So either one of those you want to use, it's not all that big a deal. It just comes down to what you want to start on. If you like the default hotkeys and you just want to make some changes, I recommend you extract from World War II data. If you like a grid key setup and would like to modify that slightly, I suggest you try out my hotkey setup since it is largely a grid key setup with a bit of minor alterations. Uh, so now that we have the the key defaults.lua file extracted, gonna open it up with your favorite text editor. And right here is the defining the definition for all of the hotkeys in the game. See things like attack, retreat, repair, yada yada yada. Everything's in here. Let's go and change something. Let's go and change. Let's let's make retreat. Where's retreat? Let's make retreat something crazy. How about we make retreat L? All right. So we're gonna change retreat to L. We're gonna save that. We're gonna close this out. Now we're gonna make a new folder. We're gonna make a folder. We're gonna call it data. Then we're gonna go inside that data folder. We're gonna make another new folder. We're gonna call it game. And inside game, we are going to, where are you, where are you? We're gonna drag the key defaults.lua file, put her in game, close this, and now we're gonna go to core six. I'm gonna open up core six. We're gonna create a new mod. Don't worry, this is a very straightforward process. Create company of heroes, make sure this is the correct game folder, name it something, whatever. I'm, I'll just keep it as my mod. We're gonna create that. Now we're gonna go over to tools. We're gonna to go to SGA Packer, and we're gonna find that data folder that we created, 
right there. We're going to create a SGA. If we browse, we go to the desktop. We're going to call this World War II data underscore key defaults dot SGA. We're going to save that. Make sure the TOC name is data. It should automatically do that when you direct it to a data link. But just to be sure, make sure it's data. Hit create, and the SGA has been created. Close out of course six. And here is the final completed World War II data underscore key defaults SGA. Now we're going to go back into the archives folder. Uh, I'm just going to go back up my uh, current setup. And we are going to copy this World War II data underscore key defaults file straight into archives, paste her in there, and there we have it. One more step to go before we're finally finished. We're going to go back to our Company of Heroes root directory, and we are going to go down to relicco.module. Again, open that with your favorite text editor, and we're going to find the column labeled data colon comma colon zero one this is important this is the area that you need to add the archive your world war two data underscore key defaults dot sga archive so that the game knows to look for that and to overwrite the default hotkey setup with your refined and updated hotkeys so go down to your bottom add another archive make it archive dot and then just add on one from the previous one so in this case it would be 13 equals and then we're going to do world war two backslash archives backslash world war two data underscore key defaults don't need to put the dot sga in on this one uh, as you can see i have it way up here that's perfectly fine it doesn't matter where in this order that you have the file so long as it's in there and it's properly numbered so I'm going to get rid of this one since I obviously already have it in there. Uh, make sure you save that, close it out, and now it's time to jump in and see our changes in action. Uh, so let's just load things up, go into a quick little skirmish, start it up, and test things out. As we can see right there, retreat is now L. Move around, we can hit the L key and our units retreat. You can do this for any any number of hotkeys, all of these. You can do it for the tactical map. You can set that to a hotkey if you like. Anything in where is it? Where is it? Anything in this file. All of these all of these commands can be rebound however you like. Be sure to be careful not to create conflicts. I personally have never experimented with conflicts. Say if you make if you make engineers and demo charges both the same hotkey, for example. I'm not sure what will happen, so please do be careful and make sure every single hotkey is unique, at least unique based on on the window. And for reference, there is a set of valid keys. These are the names you'll have to use for any keys. Put them in, in double quotes like this afterwards, and the game will recognize them. Uh, but that's it, guys. It's as simple as that. It's a very straightforward procedure, very easy to do, and I heartily recommend each and every one of you to attempt to even if you just take my hockey setup and make a few minor tweaks mess around with it see what you like see what you find most comfortable and and have some fun thanks for watching guys if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that please do not hesitate to post in the comments send me an email yada 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 all that fun stuff thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time